What's going on everybody? Today I am back here at the Grand Hyatt Bahamar in beautiful Nassau Bahamas and I'm going to be taking you on an extended walkthrough of this awesome resort. Now I was here back in 2019 and I made another video back then. I'll leave a link to that one in the description so make sure to check that one out after watching this video. But right now we're going to take a look at some other areas that I didn't cover in the older video like the brand new Bahamar water park, the Baja Bay Beach Club, some other areas of the resort that you don't normally see in videos and of course we will revisit the resort in general so that you have a full understanding of what this resort has to offer. And at the end of the video we're going to be taking a look at a one bedroom residence at the reserve in the east tower which is this area right here. Now this is going to be a very long video guys but if you want to get an idea of everything this resort has to offer you've come to the right place. So grab your favorite drink, sit back, relax, and let's get started. So as I said, we're here in the East Tower at the Reserve. And what this is, it's kind of like a hotel within a hotel. It is the top floors of the East Tower. And it's a more exclusive experience with your own dedicated check-in desk, butler service for two bedroom suites and above, a private lounge serving continental breakfast and refreshments, and things like access to the Nexus Club. So right here is the entrance where you will be driving to when you come to the reserve and straight ahead you can see that that is the rosewood so you kind of share this area with the rosewood. If you guys remember from my last video the main entrance to the Grand Hyatt Bahamar has that large waterfall. You don't get that here but this is still very nice. So here to the left is the lounge I just mentioned. This is where you can get your complimentary breakfast, your refreshments in the evening around 6 p.m. I believe it was. And believe me guys, that is actually very helpful because one thing that hasn't changed about this resort is the price of food and drinks. It's still very, very expensive. So just keep that in mind. Although if you are staying at the reserve, you're already paying quite a bit of money but either way those freebies are definitely welcome so right here is a private entrance and that gives you access to the high limit gaming slots and here's the elevator we just came from we're gonna make a right here right here I just wanted to point out this giant device it's basically like a giant tablet it's an interactive map really helpful to help you get around the resort you will find these around in different places if you've seen my last video you'll notice this area here is where we walked out from in the last video and those are the elevators to the rest of the floors that are not part of the reserve here is sticks this is one of the cheaper restaurants at the resort. And quick tip guys, make sure to check out the website for Bahamar and the different restaurants because there are quite a few of them that offer free meals for kids under five. And that comes in very handy because as I said, food here is not cheap. So you have a Starbucks and we're gonna go ahead and head down to the ground level floor. Down here you will find regatta which is an all you can eat buffet and to the left there you have pizza lab and I gotta say the pizza at pizza lab is actually quite good. It's actually pretty close to New York pizza. I'm from the New York area so I know what I'm talking about and the flavor and the dough they got it right. So here's the outdoor seating area for pizza lab. And we're just going to keep walking straight ahead. Over there you have Bond where the blue awning is. That is a nightclub. And right here you have Bahamar Sports. And as you can see, they have pretty much something for everybody. If you like tennis, there are a lot of tennis courts here. You even have bocce and croquet and the mini golf is really awesome.
Now, a lot of this video was filmed pretty early in the morning, probably around 9 a.m. So a lot of these places were not very populated at this time, obviously. But the mini golf is really nice to come to in the afternoon around 6 p.m. or so. Okay, so here we are back in the resort. That was sticks right there to the right. So we just came right back to where we came from. And there's the casino. Not going to do a lot of recording in here because you're not supposed to. And here's the jazz bar. We're going to cut to a night scene right now. Okay, and continuing on here to your left, you have Cinco. That is an Asian Latino restaurant. I actually didn't try that one, so I can't recommend it. And then to the right, that is the check-in for the SLS. You basically have access to the restaurants at the SLS or the restaurants at the Rosewood. Everything's together in like one big complex. You just can't really go and use, for example, the pool at the uh, Rosewood, or I think you can't use it at the SLS either, but you can go to the different restaurants and you can walk around the different areas. Lots of things here in the casino to choose from. If you like gambling, if you like slots, this is the place for you. So over here to the right, there are a number of shops. Here's Cafe Madeline to your right. Good place to get breakfast. And you've even got a salon. If you want to get a haircut here, you can. Now straight ahead, if you keep walking, that is the convention center. And we're going to make a left here, go down the stairs and we're going to end up at the kids club. And what that is, is basically a daycare. You can drop your kids off there. I believe they have three shifts, one in the morning, one midday, and then one at night. And I believe the pricing is around $80 for about three to four hours. And they basically do activities with the kids. They uh, watch movies, they do projects. I believe there's water activities, depending on the time of day. Definitely a nice option if you wanna get away or you wanna stay up late and gamble. You can drop off your kids there, I believe, up to 11 p.m. or midnight or something like that. And here's the water show. This happens every night, I think around 9 p.m. Really awesome. The uh, water show is coordinated to different music. I'm not going to play the audio here because I do not want to get a copyright strike. This particular one here, I remember, was uh, playing along to Taylor Swift. And here's a view of the water show from my balcony. Here we have the sugar factory. 
to the left it's more of a sit-down restaurant you can get all sorts of crazy desserts with like way too much sugar <laughs> and uh, to the right is the store that sells like the hard candies they have ice cream as well I actually didn't try either one of these places Just decided to record this area here at night since the last time I was here, I did it during the day. Although I didn't include the sugar factory. I don't think it was here back then. And if it was, I missed it. So moving on here, straight ahead, you have a lot of shops. I did cover this in my last video during the daytime. These are all shops all around. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head back upstairs, back into the daylight. And this escalator here, will leave you between the east and the west towers. And this area here is where you will arrive if you're not staying at the reserve. This should look familiar from my last video if you've seen that one. That is the west tower there. And just beyond that window there, you can see the columns for the jazz bar. So the entire time I was there, the fountain was not on. They were actually cleaning it. So that's why you don't see any water running there. So here's the entrance to the East Tower. Here's the reception area. They have the nice fish tank back there. And we're just going to go ahead and make our way across the casino floor. And into this nice seating area that overlooks that fountain right there, which they light up at night with fire. And just beyond that, you have the reflections pool way in the distance over there. All right, guys, let's get to the good stuff here. Not the cigar bar, but maybe for some people. But yes, that's a very nice cigar bar if you enjoy that kind of thing. They've got the appropriate soundtrack going. But we're finally out here. Gonna be taking a look at all of the different pools, the beach, the water park. There you have the nice koi fish fountain. And across from that, you have the reflections pool. This is an adults only pool. You have to rent one of those cabanas to utilize the pool. Right here to the left, all of these little huts are restrooms and you will find these all over the resort. They're always very clean and super convenient. Also there to the left, you can see the towel station. Again, you will find these all over the resort. They used to keep uh, lemon water and uh, sunscreen out for you to just grab but ever since covid they stopped that 
and here's another tip they do still have sunscreen so if you ask they will give it to you in a small container and it's free of charge this here is the fortune pool the adults like to hang out at this one although i would say this is kind of like a mixed one this is like adults slash kids i guess adults with kids it has a swim up bar so that would be the reason why and straight ahead you have the elixir pool this was closed when i came in 2019 in october but now in july this was open and so was the reflections pool and while i was filming this i looked over to my right and spotted the flamingo walk worked out perfectly they do this every day i believe in the morning around 9 a.m and they'll walk them around the resort then they'll bring them to an area like this you can stand around and take pictures it's pretty cool and this here i don't think this is a normal thing i think they were actually celebrating one of the flamingos' birthday You can actually see the lady there. I'm pretty sure she was saying happy birthday to the flamingo. They also have flamingo yoga. I never saw that going on, but uh, yeah, it's a thing. All right, so we're back here. And guys, don't be fooled by the absence of people. This was filmed very early in the morning around 9 a.m. So people weren't quite at the pools yet. And this here is the drift pool. You have uh, those structures over there, which they call rain cabanas. You can turn them on and then water will fall from the top of it. Those white structures there is what I was referring to. And I think this pool is also part of the drift pool. I don't remember if it has its own name, but the kids really like that one as well because it's very shallow at one end. There's another towel station right there to your left. You will find one pretty much next to every pool. You have cabanas all around. It's just a very comfortable place. All right, straight ahead you have the sanctuary. That is gonna be to the right there. Now that used to be free and it's not anymore, but we'll get to that in a minute here. If you make a right right here, you have an aviary. We're gonna take a look at that right now. And you can uh, feed the birds in here. You have to pay $10 to get the food, but to access the aviary, um, it's free. So you pay to feed the birds, but to access the aviary, it's free. You have some options for some quick bites over here. It's also cheaper if you eat at places like this rather than the restaurants inside the resorts. There is the sanctuary. As I said, it used to be free before um, in 2019. I remember just walking in there. Um, now it is not free anymore. There's different options you can choose from. And once inside, you'll find they have nurse sharks, they have stingrays, turtles, 
starfish. It's a pretty good selection of sea life. This area here, you can actually touch the starfish. And there to your left, you have an ice cream shop. And if you see my video from 2019, this whole area right here on the left was completely bare before. None of that existed. That is all new. That is Marcus. It is a restaurant and it has a bunch of different places. Like um, you can dine literally on the sand. You can dine in a like a deck area. It's got different areas of the restaurant that you can dine in. There's the beach. There's Marcus again. And then straight ahead, you have Baja Bay. That is the water park. So this was right around, it was about to be 10 a.m. was, which is when the water park opens. So that's why there was a line there. Normally you just walk right in. That is an activities shack there. They actually take you across to uh, a nearby island to do all the activities like snorkeling and stuff like that. And this year, guys, this is the Baja Bay Beach Club. So this is an exclusive area. You have to spend $100 per person to go in here, but it's uh, more private than the rest of the pools and uh you have these nice infinity pools overlooking the ocean it's a very nice area you also have cabanas all around um they're very expensive though i think for those you have to spend like four or five hundred dollars per person i think if i'm mistaking if i'm not mistaking i should say but if you want a regular like poolside bed it's um it's a hundred dollars per person that you have to spend throughout the day on food or drinks I guess this area really isn't more private than the rest of the resort, but it's just a different vibe with the infinity pools overlooking the ocean. And it's located within Baja Bay, so that's why we're here now. It was that same entrance. But yeah, this area is definitely very nice with those water beds and that nice view it's definitely uh worth spending at least a day here All right, and here we are back at the entrance to Baja Bay. That's the beach club to the right. You can get towels at these uh, guest services shacks. And as you walk into the water park, there's different shops. You can get sandals and things like that. And right here, we're gonna make a right and we are going to go to turtle beach and this is more catered towards like the smaller kids i have a four-year-old daughter and she did not want to leave that area the entire time there's the lazy river And right here to the right is Turtle Beach.
And if you notice straight ahead, you have the sugar factory. You notice that you have a lot of the restaurants that are in the resort here in the water park as well. You have these convenient lockers throughout the water park. And in this area here is Stingray Cove. And this is a good area, a good mixed area for younger kids and older kids and even adults. This here is Cyclone Rush and Hammerhead. I couldn't really go on this one because if you notice the floaty thingies are, they're, they're groups. So I think five people fit on one of those. And I think um, they will only let you go on there if it's uh, a certain number of people minimum. Just didn't have enough people with me. My daughter is way too young for this ride. And that there is the dueling Riptide coaster. Again, you need to have two people on the floaty thingies or else you can't ride. That one's pretty cool because you can race. So you can see the two exits there. Two people can go on one, two people on the other. See who makes it out first. And right here you have a wave pool. Waves were not on when I took this video. And beyond that, the big white tower. That is the Devil's Backbone and a Thunderball. That's the one that you get into kind of a capsule and then the floor opens up from beneath you and you go really fast. This here is the entrance to the Lazy River. Okay, and there to the left, that's the entrance to the park. We went right before, now we're gonna go to the left. There's the Umami Burger, this used to be a food truck. You have the uh, Surf Simulator here. That was actually really fun, first time I did that. If you have contacts, be careful because I lost my contact in about 10 seconds after going on there. And this right here is called the Pirate's Plunge. And right here to the right, you do have some gambling within the water park at the pavilion. They definitely know how to make you spend your money at this resort, that's for sure. And here we're just gonna take a look at the map of the, uh, of the water park. Pretty much everything we just went through right now. You can see all the rides, all the food options, there's Clio. And this is just, you know, within the water park. Cleo is also located at the SLS. All right, so we're back here to the dock now. We just made a left before to go towards the water park. Now we're gonna go out to the dock and enjoy this awesome view. I think this is the money shot right here. Just a really nice beach, nice calm water, clear water. Plenty of space.
over there to the far right that is baja bay you have marcus right there then the sls is that pink building west tower just behind that east tower then you have the beach villas next to that and then you finally have the rosewood all the way to the left Let's check out the beach. These cabanas right here, you can also rent. I think those are $100 per day. They're more like day beds than cabanas. You have your bars right on the sand there, very convenient. All right, and coming up here in front of us is Dean's Blue Hole is the name of this pool. They have rock jumping here, waterfall. It's very shallow also, so very good for kids. And then you have this area under here, this kind of cave area with these looking glasses that uh, just beyond that, like all the sea life, that is actually the uh, fish from the exploration center that we just uh, saw before. So there you have Out Island Bar, and just beyond that to the right, you have Out Island Pool. And then in this back area over here by the beach, you have different food trucks. You can see Nosh right there. I actually didn't try any of these here. Again, this was filmed early in the day. So uh, food trucks weren't even open yet. This is just a big open area here. You can, I guess, do whatever you want here. So a large group of people taking pictures here one day. And right here, we are at Costa. This is one of my favorite restaurants at the resort. This is actually located at the Rosewood, but again, you have access to it. And uh, just the setting here is awesome, like with the with the koi fish all around and the way like this whole restaurant is set up. It's just very serene and uh, the setting is just really great and the food is also really great. So this is definitely one of my favorites and I definitely recommend that you guys go to this one.
all right and we're back here before we made that left and kept going to go to costa you have el jefe which is a mexican food truck and then to the right of that you have the flamingos this is kind of where they hang out all day And if you keep going straight ahead to the right, that is the fortune pool that we saw earlier on. And to the left of that, kind of up there on the hill, that is the Nexus Club. Again, if you guys are staying at the reserve, you have access to this club. It's included. They have a DJ there. And uh, this is obviously adults only. You also have an infinity pool there and there's actually another pool at the other side that overlooks the ocean I didn't get to uh, record that one but you also have day beds here water beds you have the cabanas all around they were just opening up when i took this video There's the hot tub. Pretty much every pool has a hot tub at the resort, just about. See the beach in the distance. All right, everybody, we're coming to the end of the video here now, and we're finally at our one bedroom sweet residence actually is what they call it at the reserve and right off the bat here when you walk in you have a half bath here's your entrance area little table on the left there They'll leave correspondence there if there's any. There you have your mini bar. Nicely stocked. Everything is pressure sensitive. So if you lift it, you bought it. You have your Keurig coffee machine. Definitely a very nice room, a residence, I should say, it's more than one room. What I do have to say though is, as nice as it looks, that couch is a very uncomfortable. The area is very nice, you have the nice large TV, but when you sit on that couch, it's like a stone. Nice desk area. The light fixtures have USB ports so you can charge your devices. You have this nice tablet that you can do many things from like book restaurant reservations, uh, book activities, uh, all sorts of things. It's very nice to have that. There's the TV and you can actually slide that uh, whole door thing over and cover the TV if you wanted to for some reason. Now this is also dual climate, which I think is pretty cool. You have your thermostat out on this area here. And you also have a thermostat in the bedroom. So you can have this area 
be separately controlled from the bedroom, which is very nice. And just little details like you have Lutron uh, light switches throughout the, the space. You can, you have a lot of lighting options, which I really like. You can really make, you can really set the mood. The bed was very comfortable. And the service was great. Whenever we asked for anything, it was it was taken care of right away. That there is a rollaway bed that we have for our daughter. Normally, that wouldn't be there. You have a fan in each room, but those fans are not very good at all. I have to say, they hardly put out any air. You have a his and hers type of configuration with the closets. They do provide those robes for you as well as slippers. There's the other closet. This one has a safe if you need one. And here's the master bathroom. Nice large bathroom, shower, soaking tub, separate area for the toilet. You have a nice large double sink nice large mirrors inside that box you can find shower caps and q-tips and some other things the fixtures are by grohe which is nice nice brand just nice little details, you know, nice high quality finishes. There's your large soaking tub. pretty strange they had an ethernet connection <laughs> next to the toilet i guess if you want to if you really need to do some fast speed business while you do your business i don't th know that anybody ever uses that but i found that pretty funny you have dual shower heads nice large shower area This is definitely a very large residence, very spacious and comfortable, other than that couch. <laughs> so here we are at the balcony, obviously, and, uh, you know, it's not the ocean view that I kind of wanted, but hey, it's still very nice. You see that the light show at night and uh, this is this is not a bad view at all. You can see the basketball court over there that we saw earlier. That's where the mini golf is at. There's Bond with the blue awning. You can basically see the entire resort from here. Get a bird's eye view of everything. There's the large circular fountain that you will see when you come into the resort if you're staying in the regular rooms at the East Tower, um, well, East or West. Um, again, it was off when I was there. You, you can see all that brown stuff. They were actually cleaning that off. 
there is the west tower there and uh yeah guys that is that is pretty much gonna be it for this video uh this was a long one if you guys are still here thanks for watching i really hope this was helpful and uh i'm hoping to come back here in the near future and uh, maybe i'll get to do a tour of one of the beachside villas but that remains to be seen other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one